Education Trichangor, affiliated to Tamil Nadu Teachers Education University, Chennai. This is so precious moment for all of us because today we are all gathered here, joined for webinar on powering, empowering future, nurturing equality and safeguarding childhood. Organizing with Nai Chaitanya 2.0, IQAC Women Empowerment Cell. This Nai Chaitanya 2.0 national campaign is a noble initiative to advance the rights of women and gender diverse individuals and foster a society free to fear and gender based discrimination and violence. This campaign is launched of Ministry of Rural Development Government of India, which focuses to foster coverings to collectively strengthen redressal mechanisms of our survivors of GPV. To have a great program with our today's chief guest, Dr. Veena, counseling psychologist, AICT certified ghost trainer. She is such a wonderful achieving woman who is going to give today a brief talk about empowering future. We welcome you, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your warm uh, welcome and also my heartfelt gratitude uh, for uh, the faculties of uh, KSR Institute of Education for having me here to address on empowering the future. Uh, can I start my presentation? Uh, just two minutes, ma'am. Yes. Uh, the world is around and the place which may seem like the end may also be the beginning. To begin the program with welcome address, now I call upon Mr. K. Balusami, Assistant Professor, Kaiser College of Education, to welcome all. Please. Good morning to one and all. I heartfully welcome to the impactful webinar, Empowering Future, Nutrient Equality and Safeguard Childhood, convened by Kaiser College of Education in collaboration with esteemed Tamil Nadu Teacher Education Institute. Today we are privileged to gather with our Visionary College Founder Line, Dr. K. S. Rangasamy, MJF Sir, Esteemed Chairman, Mr. R. Srinivasan Sir, Dedicated Director, Mrs. Amuda Asai Tambi, Distinct Principal, Dr. P. Suresh Prabhu Sir, Our Venerable Chief Guest, Dr. Veena Madam, Committed Faculty Members, and our passionate participant. Today's essence, Hold the power to inspire change and create a world where every child rights are protected and opportunities are equal. Let's embark on this journey of enlightenment, knowledge and advocacy together. Thank you for joining to us. Once again, welcome you all. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your warm welcome. A strong woman stands up for herself but a stronger woman stands up for everybody else. Here is such a stranger woman you will all know by her profile. Here is her profile. Dr. Ravina comes to us with a holistic background. She is a trainer with more than two decades of experience and she incorporates her extensive clinical knowledge in psychotherapy practice. She has been a practicing counseling psychologist for more than 14 years. She has been associated as an assistant professor of psychology for psychotherapy students in Bihar, Global Institutes Erode, and postgraduate students in Tamil Nadu Open University for past nine years. She is a Rotarian from Rotary Riveria Club of Chennai, and she is chairperson for women empowerment and has conducted a walkathon on creating awareness on cyber crimes. She has been working in a corporate as well and consultant for the past five years and has the experience of conducting various workshops and EAP sessions for incorporates like Scope eKnowledge, SPA Global, Equitas, S2S HR Forum, and is currently working as well as consultant for DVT. She does freelance for counseling platforms like Help HR, Silver Oaks, and Tech Health. Dr. Veena has received her training from SCARRF Chennai and completed her internship with the Department of Psychology Cancer Institute Chennai, India. Veena co coordinated sessions on psycho oncology in the fourth international conferences, also, which was held at Kochi, India. AICT certified both trainer from New Delhi Institute of Management. 
She finished her certification course in basis of addiction management from Nimhans, Bangalore. She underwent training in life skills under the guidance of Dr. Kishore Kumar, who was pioneer in life skills at BALM, the Banyan Academy for Leadership and Mental Health. She has conducted programs on life skills for various schools uh, as a resource person and also as a webinar. Sessions on health and hygiene, reopening of schools, safety amidst COVID-19, home management of COVID-19 for children and families, disaster preparedness and recovering strategies for children for National Institute of Disaster Management. She has conducted many workshops and she got the Dr. Barba Handfesting Award for an action research of life skills in adolescent girls in rural areas in Tamil Nadu. She has been a part of public police interface program that addresses the mental health well-being of Tamil Nadu State Police Department. She has completed her practicum supervision program in choice theory and reality therapy and take charge of your life program is endorsed as a faculty practicum supervisor by the William Glazier International. She completed her training on professional supervision and group supervisions from IAPS. She has participated more than 15 national and international conferences and workshops. Besides, she has presented over 20 papers. She has received three best paper awards and published the same in international and national journals also like Scopus and Index. She has participated in several faculty development programs and also she has been a panelist in a few television debate shows on mental health issues like Win TV. Jaya TV and Kalinga TV. She has received a uh, Save Ratna Award for her professional services from Legal Rights Organization Chennai. And also she has received in SPA PK Subaraj Trust Best Performance Award 2020 for her valuable services and contributions. She, has, she knows more than five languages easily. And she is the membership of founding member and treasurer Tamil Nadu Counseling and Psychotherapist Association. Uh, she is a member of founding member and secretary Tamil Nadu Career Counseling Association, life member Indian Association of Cycle School Psychology, member of International Association of Hope Science and Palliative Care, member and editor of Western Newsletters of IAPS, International Psycho Oncology Society Active Member, member of Tamil Nadu WICCI, affiliated member of American Psychological Association, member of International Center for Clinical Psychology and Psychotherapy, RPC member Chennai Counselors Foundation. She is a member of IAAP. She is a member of WGI and member of GHF and also the member of Chennai Chapter President Indian Homeopathic Medical League. Life, life member Indian Institute of Homeopathy. Life member Indian Homeopathic Medical Association. Life member of NAPCAIM and Assistant Vice President Tamil Nadu Chapter. I wish to invite such a strong and a powerful woman to speak on empowering future with us. A warm welcome, welcome to you, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am, for that elaborated introduction. And uh, it uh, gives me a huge responsibility that uh, this session uh, will be helpful for the students and others who have been attending. And uh, yes, uh, thank you for giving me an opportunity to address on empowering the future. We know that today's uh, children are tomorrow's citizens and how we can give them a conducive environment for them to have a personal growth, how they can become a healthy individuals, not only physically, but emotionally and socially how responsible they could be. So when they have to take up these responsibilities, they should know like what are the things they have to focus on or what are the struggles or challenges they could uh, phase in their life. Uh, without uh, much delay, I'm going to share my PPT. Uh, I'll be talking both in Tamil and uh, English as well. I hope that's okay. Yes. So when we talk about safeguarding and child protection, what comes to your mind? When we talk about why is it important for us to safeguard and why is it important that we focus on child protection? Because uh, 
if you could see in recent days we could listen so many news wherein a child is being abused or the child is not feeling safe or the child is having so many challenges and doesn't know how to express that how to address that whom to approach ninga pathinga na nariya institutions le we don't have any um, most of the institutions are not even aware like there are so cells or so much of law that is there the children can uh, take help so that you no know, if any challenge or if any distress or any crisis comes they can easily address so safeguarding and child protection are closely related for ensuring like i told you for the well being and safety of a child so when we talk about safeguarding it's not only children who are okay who are physically fit emotionally fit there are certain children which have those who have challenges there are uh, ch- uh, physically challenged children there are uh, mentally challenged children there are children who have lot of uh, uh, social issues family issues wherein they undergo lot of domestic violence physical abuse and what are those challenges we'll go through the slides okay and safeguarding also involves not only like when something has happened we have to take action it's not about it it's always you can prevent with something happening even before if you know like how we can safeguard we can adu tadukkaradhu romba mukkiyam or nigalchi nadakkaradha veda adu tadukkaradhu romba romba avasiyam illaingala so preventing any physical emotional or psychological abuse or any neglect so there could be certain children who will be exploited there will be children a sect of children who are very vulnerable for uh, predators or to get exploited so safeguarding affects this includes like i told you to create a safe environment and also to implement the policies many of us doesn't know what are the laws that are existing or what are the advocacies namakku vandu endha oru vishaya nadanalume usually we blame the society or we blame the government or we blame the law is not good but as citizens how far are we empowered namakku endha alavukku indha law patti theriyum we never ask ourselves those questions so today let us like learn a few things about that so why child protection can any one of you say what is the child helpline number what is the child helpline number any one of you you could chat or you could type or you could say 098 Yes, one zero nine eight. And during COVID, you know, that is the number which has received the num- most number of complaints. Then you can imagine how important it is. Uh, you no, know, the child protection is very important because that is one number which has received the highest number of calls during COVID period when lockdown. lockdown was imposed on us so child protection is a specific aspect where we address the protection of a child it also uh, it also involves like what are the risk factors we have certain red flags isn't it when we talk about crisis or when we talk about distress usually we look in for what are the red flags what are the green flags so what are the red flags red flags are the risk or uh, which causes harm otherku vande idnala vande or tunpurthirlo illa idnala or danger nadakkumo abbi endra ella aspects ah namba vande red flags abbi ennu nenaippom so in the red flags enna abbi ennu identify pandrathu so child protection it also includes like when ஒரு சம்ப ஒரு ஒரு சம்பவம் நடந்தது ஆர் ஒரு நிகழ்ச்சி நடந்தது அது ஓகே அவங்க கிட்ட போயிட்டு எம்பத்தி கிரியேட் பண்ணிட்டு அவங்களுக்கு ஆறுதல் சொல்றது கிடையாது ஆஸ் எ ரெஸ்பான்சிபிள் சிட்டிசன் யூ ஹாவ் எவ்ரி ரைட் டு ரிப்போர்ட் இட் டு இன்வெஸ்டிகேட் இட் to provide that family a support whatever help you could give or in any way you could give a protective environment for that child so that the child can overcome that traumatic incident and move on in life so what would be certain barriers for us to create a safe environment for the children so lack of awareness inadequate training cultural sensitivity limited resources not knowing the legal policies stigma and discrimination so we'll go through one by one 
so why there is lack of awareness when i ask you now like what are the laws that are there for child protection how many of you know how many laws are there or how many you can say this is an abuse this is a neglect or this is an exploitation we never know i mean like we have we don't focus on these aspects usually namakku vandu nam academics padichoma nam marks vaangnama nam or nalla velaiku ponama idhu da nammalude usual focus will be but beyond that as an individual how you are contributing to the society or what is it that you could take up as a social responsibility we usually don't and most of the institutions also don't teach us like idhu idella irukku you can voice your opinion or and the madri in the institutions me and i am really happy like this such sort of programs are being initiated so lack of awareness when you are not aware of what is happening you don't know how to complain about it or you don't know like in the madri or nigarchi nadandathu enu theriyadhu and idha poi report pandra or or vishayamum ungalku theriyadhu so that is lack of awareness inadequate training many times what happens is usually it is we are influenced mostly by social media or media i don't know whether it is in a good way or a uh, harmful way we don't get proper or authenticated resources idu unmayana oru resource or inge pona namakku vandu correct ah vandu response kadaikum andha maadhiri kadaiyadhu we get influence and lot of uh, information is being flooded in social platform ottar share pandranga oru vishayathe appadi enna adu correct ah thavara andra oru puridhal kuda illama namba just namakku vandhadhu nama naalu perukku forward pannu இதனால வந்து நல்லது நடக்கிறத விட நிறைய வாட்டி ஒரு கெடுதல் தான் நடக்கும் சோ யூ வில் பி அட்ரெஸிங் ஆர் யூ வில் பி கிவிங் ரிசோர்ஸ் ஆர் யூ வில் பி கிவிங் த ரெஃபரல் ஆஃப் அ பர்சன் ஹூ இஸ் நாட் ப்ராப்பர்லி ட்ரெயின்ட் சோ இது சோ வி நீட் பீப்புள் ஹூ ஆர் very much trained who, who have that special skills when you are trying to address with children no it's not as if you are behaving with a child namba vande othar kitta poite ungalku enna prachana sollunga appdi enna kolanda sollaadhu so adukana or special skills iruko and a child who undergoes abuse will not voice it out it will have lot of emotional turmoil so you need to have a person who is well equipped or well trained அந்த குழந்தைக்கு ஒரு ஆறுதல் சொல்லிக்கிட்டு அந்த எமோஷனல் டர்மாயில் நின்று எப்படி வெளியில கொண்டு வந்து எப்படி இன்ஃபர்மேஷனை கேதர் பண்ணணும் எப்படி இதை வந்து மேண்டேட்ரி ரிப்போர்ட்டிங்கா கன்வே பண்ணணும் இதுக்கு எல்லாமே வந்து சர்டன் ட்ரைனிங்ஸ் எல்லாமே இருக்கு ஸோ வாட் ஆர் தோஸ் ட்ரைனிங்ஸ் வில் ஆல்சோ சி தோஸ் ஸோ கல்ச்சுரல் சென்சிட்டிவிட்டிஸ் மெனி டைம்ஸ் என்ன நடக்கணும் அப்போ வீட்டில் ஏதாச்சும் சின்ன விஷயங்கள் ஏதாச்சும் நடந்ததுன்னா இது அப்படியே கண்டுக்காம வீட்டுடுங்க இதை பெருசாக்க வேண்டாம் இது தெரிஞ்ச குடும்பமானமே போயிடும் no uh, so we are culturally so uh, attached to certain pride in our uh, society when such things happens we tend to ignore or we tend to cover it up ipdi da irukum indha samudayathile idu nadakka da seiyum idu enna periya vishayama nanichitte irukinge so so cultural sensitivity plays a major hamper like adu vande oru vishayatha vande எடுத்துட்டு போய் ரிப்போர்ட் பண்றதுக்கு தடையா நிற்குது ஸோ கல்ச்சுரல் டிஃபரன்சஸ் அண்ட் மிஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங்ஸ் கேன் போஸ் அ கிரேட் சேலஞ்ச் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ கல்ச்சுரல் நார்ம்ஸ் அண்ட் பிலீவ்ஸ் மே ஆல்சோ எஃபெக்ட் அ சைல்ட் ப்ரொடெக்ஷன் இது இப்படிதான் இது இதை வந்து நீங்க விட்டுடுங்க இது கொஞ்ச நாள் சரி ஆயிடும் இதுல என்ன இருக்கு அப்படின்னு நினைப்பாங்க பட் இட்ஸ் நாட் லைக் தட் த சைல்ட் ஹூ அண்டர் கோஸ் அ பர்டிகுலர் சுச்சுவேஷன் or who undergoes an emotional turmoil may not come out of that and it has a huge impact on the personality of the child so fear of retaliation sometimes idu nadanda namba mela edacho pagichikrangalo namba poi inda sambhavathai sonna namba la edacho seivaangalo so individual who witness or suspect uh, no idu edhuk namba ipdiye vittirla namak edhuk vanda prachana veena namba thalaiye namba edhuk eduthittu poi kudukano indha maadhiri oru fear of retaliation irukkaradhanaala perumbalana prachanaigal vande report aagradhe illa okay so this is another barrier and also poor communication 
ஒரு விஷயம் நடந்ததுன்னா யார்கிட்ட போய் சொல்லணும் எப்படி சொல்லணும் ஈவன் குழந்தைக்கே வந்து ஒரு ஏதாச்சும் ஒரு டொமஸ்டிக் வயலன்ஸோ ஒரு அபியூஸோ நடக்கும் போது அதை எப்படி வெளிப்படுத்துறது யாருக்கிட்ட போய் சொல்றது ஒரு வாட்டி போய் ஏதாச்சும் வீட்டுல இருக்கிற பெரியவங்க கிட்ட போய் அப்ரோச் பண்ணி சொல்லும் போது நிறைய பெரியவங்க காது கொடுத்து கேட்கவும் மாட்டாங்க இந்த மாதிரி விஷயங்கள் நடக்கும் சோ என்ன ஆர்கனைசேஷன்ஸ் எந்த ஏஜென்சிஸ் இதுக்காக ஒர்க் ஆகும் எப்படி கோஆர்டினேட் பண்ணும் எப்படி கம்யூனிகேட் பண்றன்ற விஷயங்களும் வந்து ஒரு தடையா இருக்கும் ஓகேங்களா லிமிடெட் ரிசோர்சஸ் லைக் ஐ டோல்ட் யூ the regards to child and uh, child safe L- there are only a few organizations or few ngos that are working and also the policies fao irukra policies da innume irukku so we need to update those policies as well so like i told you the legal policies and challenges are like way back the ipc sections if ellame edhi irukudho adellame ரொம்ப நாளுக்கு முன்னாடி பண்ணி வச்ச ஒரு லாஸ் ஒரு ஐபிசி செக்ஷன்ஸா இருக்கு பட் இந்த காலத்துக்கு அத வந்து அப்டேட் பண்ணும் அண்ட் தேர் ஷுட் பி லாட் ஆஃப் கிளாரிட்டி இன் லாஸ் அண்ட் பாலிசிஸ் சோ தட் ஈச் ஒன் ஆஃப் அஸ் நோ லைக் ஹவு வி ஆர் கோயிங் ஆர் வி அப்ரோச்சிங் இட் இன் ஏ கரெக்ட் வே ஆர் நாட் லைக் ஐ டோல் யூ ஸ்டிக்மா அண்ட் டிஸ்கிரிமினேஷன் பிளேஸ் அ ஹியூஜ் ஹியூஜ் பேரியர் and so we need to as a youth who are into college you need to voice your opinion or certain things happens in your uh, surroundings unga neenga irukra or area la edacho or domestic violence nadakkudhu illa edacho or child is going any abuse voice out it try to stand for that child or try to stand for that victim and tell them that there are laws which could be implemented this is how you can break those barriers this is how you can overcome those stigmas so i told you there are certain uh, child protection laws will go through those laws uh, when we talk about child protection law there is something known as juvenile justice um, uh, we had a meeting uh, with uh, one of the ngos that is closely working uh, for children who commit crimes okay chinna uh, chinna uh, crimes create pannum bodu avangalukku vande law la enna support irukku avangalukku enna maadhiriyana they give lot of rehabilitation they send them for home uh, they try to uh, get them into academics you know make them realize or make them give a chance for them to lead a, life again so some incident has happened that doesn't mean that the child has to be labeled with that incident there is still a long life you know avangalukku nariya irukku life la sadhika vendiya nariya vishayangal irukku so juvenile justice is for care and protection of child protection of children from sexual offenses poxo is very very essential because you see lot of children are being getting sexually abused in schools colleges avanga edukra kudi irukra pagudhiliye vandu indha vishayam nariya ரிப்போர்ட் ஆகிறதும் கிடையாது ஆனா அந்த மனநல அந்த குழந்தையோட மனநல ரொம்பவே பாதிக்கப்படுது சோ தெர் இஸ் சம்திங் நோன் அஸ் பாக்ஸோ விச் யூ ரியலி ஹாவ் டு நோ வாட் ஆர் த லாஸ் அண்ட் சைல்ட் லேபர் பாத்தீங்கன்னா நவ டேஸ் தேங்க்ஃபுல்லி சில்ட்ரன் ஹூ ஆர் பிலோ ஃபோர்டீன் இயர்ஸ் ஆர் நாட் engaged in labor labor in sense they are not um, recruited in companies or hotels or any way, way Uh, where they are being uh, uh, well as a year to be a decade deal that he had to live in the world uh, people are knowing that there is something known as child labor act wherein children who are below 14 years are not uh, engaged for um, uh, working okay and child marriage restraint uh, if you see uh, interior remote areas of india there are still child marriages that are happening thankfully people are uh, having lot of awareness if you could see certain uh, states sila manigal manilangal like rajasthan gujarat or bihar even now there are people who give who do child marriages uh, so how far the child is prepared or 12 years old or child who attains a puberty you 
force her to get into a marital relationship how far the child is prepared for that physically she is not prepared emotionally she is not prepared even 18 years do you think like a child can i mean the person can get married 18 years le enna oru puridhal irukka podu so marriage is a system wherein it's like a two families come together there is a huge responsibility so you have to empower yourself physically and emotionally whether you are okay to manage the two households or how you could get or how you can form a relationship but if you see there are a lot of people without having any understanding about the marital system getting married and huge rise of divorce cases or huge rise of people who are exploiting you no know, women or men both it's not only women even men um, who are getting indulged in sexual activities then they are in early stages not even 18 years uh, in the கல்யாணம் பண்ணிக்கிறேன் நான் உன்னை லவ் பண்றேன் இந்த மாதிரி சொல்லி நிறைய பேரை ஏமாத்திக்கிட்டு இருக்காங்க ஸோ இவங்களுக்கு எல்லாமே சைல்டு மேரேஜ் ரிஸ்ட்ரெயின் குட் பி அப்ளைட் கமிஷன் ஃபார் ப்ரொடெக்ஷன் ஆஃப் சைல்ட் ரைட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஒன் மோர் திங் வென் வி சே அபவுட் த செக்ஷுவல் கான்சென்ட் இஃப் த சைல்ட் ஈஸ் அண்டர் எயிட்டீன் இயர்ஸ் ஈவன் த ஹஸ்பண்ட் இஃப் ஹீ ட்ரைஸ் டு ஹாவ் அ செக்ஷுவல் ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் ஹீ குட் பி நோ பனிஷ் அண்டர் போக்ஸோ even with a consent so you have to know what is about consent whether the consent applies for a child or it is applied for an adult a person who is under 18 years even if they give sexual consent and they indulge in sexual activities that could be brought under poxo so you people have to be very very careful about these things and the punishments are very stringent and also the right to children to free and compulsory education how many of us uh, of the children in rural areas are getting education they even don't know that there is a fundamental right to have a right for education so you can tell to them so the law 1 is a juvenile justice law the law 2 is protection of child from sexual offenses the poxo and it defines various forms of sexual abuses like i told you and law 3 is for child labor if you see any child below the age of 15 or 14 doing work in companies please uh, tell them or refrain them to go there tell them that there are certain ngos who help them to pursue their academics who give them education so no about that networking help that child to have a bright future okay law like this is a marriage law law 4 law 5 is commission for protection of child rights so this child right comes whenever there is any sort of domestic violence any sort of physical abuse nowadays if you could see lot of institutions they tend to label the child they tend to like Uh, not give a proper nourishment or a conducive environment for that child so all these could come under commission for protection of child rights okay the sixth law and very compulsory is it's a fundamental right that every child should have education okay and when we talk about abuses i have talked about abuses when we talk about the abuses the abuses could be various not only sexual abuse in the abuse could be emotional ஒருத்தர மன ரீதியா துன்புறுத்துறதும் ஒரு அபியூஸ் தான் பிசிக்கல் அபியூஸ் கெட்டிங் பிசிக்கல் பீட்டிங் அ சைல்ட் ஆர் ஹார்மிங் த சைல்ட் குட் பி அ பிசிக்கல் அபியூஸ் வி வில் சி வாட் ஆர் த டிஃப்ரெண்ட் அபியூசஸ் ஒன் பை ஒன் ஐ டாக் அபவுட் த பிசிக்கல் அபியூஸ் வென் ஐ டாக் அபவுட் த பிசிக்கல் அபியூஸ் இட் இன்வால்ஸ் இன்டென்ஷனல் யூஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபோர்ஸ் ஓகே விச் ரிசல்ட்ஸ் இன் பாடிலி இன்ஜுரி பெயின் ஆர் இம்பேர்மெண்ட் ஒருத்தர் அடிக்கிறதோ கிள்றதோ துன்புறுத்துறதோ நோ இட் குட் நோ ஸ்லாப்பிங் அ சைல்ட் பஞ்சிங் கிக்கிங் எனி திங் தட் காசஸ் அ பிசிக்கல் ஹார்ம் இஸ் அ பிசிக்கல் அபியூஸ் ஸோ what are the physical indicators many times and the kolanda vandu enak indha maadhiri onnu thurpurthunanga enna ipdi ella koduma padathunanga nu solla maatanga so how can you make out that a child has undergone an abuse so sometimes there is sila gayangal irukum solla mudiyada paathinga na kannalla oru maadhiri 
அடிச்சா எங்கெல்லாம் ஒரு மாதிரி ஆகும் இல்லைங்களா ப்ளூ ஈஸ்ன்னு சொல்லுவாங்க ஒரு மாதிரி கனிந்து போன மாதிரி இருக்கும் ஸோ வென் யூ கெட் அ ஹிட் வாட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் இட் பிகம் ரெட்டிஷ் ஓவர் அ பீரியட் ஆஃப் டைம் இட் பிகம்ஸ் பர்பிள் கலர் ஒரு மாதிரி ப்ளூ ஈஷா நடக்கும் தெரியும் சோ வெளியில தெரிய சில காயங்கள் ஏதாச்சும் ரணமா இருக்கலாம் ஏதாச்சும் கட்டா இருக்கலாம் அடிக்கடி அடிக்கடி வந்து ஒரு குழந்தை இந்த மாதிரி ஏதாச்சும் ஒரு காயத்தோட உங்களுக்கு தெரிஞ்சா மேபி ஃப்ரீக்வெண்ட் இன்ஜுரிஸ் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த பிசிக்கல் அபியூஸ் இண்டிகேட்டர் குழந்தை வந்து பிஹேவியர் சேஞ்ச் ஆயிருக்கும் இட் மைட் நாட் பி அட்டன்டிவ் இந்த கிளாஸ் ஒரு எப்ப பார்த்தாலுமே ஒரு ஒரு ஃபியரோட ஒரு ஆன்சைட்டியோட யாரா பார்த்தாலுமே ஒரு ஒதுங்கி போற மாதிரி ஒரு வித்ட்ராலா இருக்கும் அஹ் அடுத்தவங்க வந்து கிட்ட நெருங்கி வரும்போதும் ஒரு அவாய்டன்ஸ் இருக்கும் யாராச்சும் வந்தா நம்மள ஏதாச்சும் செஞ்சிடுவாங்களோ அப்படின்ற சோ அவாய்டன்ஸ் ஆஃப் பிசிக்கல் கான்டாக்ட் எப்ப பார்த்தாலும் ஒரு சோர்வா சோகமா யார் கூடியும் கலக்காம தனியா இருக்கு தனிமையிலேயே இருக்கிற ஒரு குழந்தைய பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஜஸ்ட் ட்ரை டு எக்ஸ்ப்ளோர் வை வாட் த சைல்ட் இஸ் அண்டர் கோயிங் ஸோ சேஃப் கார்டிங் ஹவு கேன் யூ சேஃப் கார்ட் ஒன் இஸ் educate and creating awareness like i told you all the things which we have talked tell create an awareness create in the madri ella tumpurthana ind ind laws ella irukku idukalla idu parenting when you conduct parent teachers meeting always emphasize on these aspects as well and also make sure the child doesn't exploit these things இது எப்படி போகுதுன்னா இட் இஸ் அ வெரி ட்ரிக்கி சுச்சுவேஷன் வென் யூ சே சம்திங் மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த சில்ட்ரன் டேக் இட் இன் எ ட்ரிக்கி சுச்சுவேஷன் அண்ட் சேஸ் பெற்றோர்கள்ல வந்து மிரட்டுறாங்க இந்த மாதிரி எல்லாம் என்ன என் மேல கை வச்சு என்ன போலீஸ்க்கு ரிப்போர்ட் பண்ணிட அந்த மாதிரி சோ யூ ஹாவ் டு கிவ் அ ப்ராப்பர் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் டெல் தம் லைக் தீஸ் ஆர் த அபியூசஸ் ஓன்லி வென் தீஸ் கிரைடீரியாஸ் மேட்ச் இட் இஸ் கால்ட் அண்ட் அபியூஸ் பட் யூ கான் டேக் இட் அண்ட் யூ கான் தெர் ஆர் சட்டன் children who called up and who have given a false statements so always be sure like the incident has happened what is the intensity of the incident how um, uh, uh, you know uh, harmful it is so when you are reporting when you are doing the ra- mandatory reporting you have to keep in all these di- dimensions and all these parameters this is where you have to look in for the red flags okay so this is how you can safeguard from physical abuse okay emotional or psychological abuse in any vishayangal emotional or psychological abuse othara vande அதிக அதிக அதாவது அளவுக்கு மீறி ஒருத்தர் துன்புறுத்திக்கிட்டே இரு ஒரு சொல்லாலையோ ஒரு டிஸ்கிரிமினேட் பண்ணிக்கிட்டு சில வார்த்தைகள் விடுறதோ நீ அந்த மாதிரி நீ இந்த மாதிரி லேபிள் பண்றதோ ஒருத்தரை வந்து த்ரெட் பண்றதோ இல்ல ஒரு ஒரு பியர் குரூப்பா இருக்கும் அதுல வந்து அவங்கள சேர்க்காம நீ வராத நீ எங்க கூட சேராத அப்படின்னு துன்புறுத்துறதோ இது எல்லாமே வந்து ஒரு எமோஷனல் ஆர் சைக்கலாஜிக்கல் அபியூஸ் அண்ட் வெளியில பாக்குற காயங்களை விட இந்த மன ரீதியான ஆகிற ஒரு ஹார்ம் ஆர் ஹர்ட் வந்து இட் வில் ஹாவ் அ ஹியூஜ் இம்பாக்ட் ஆன் த மென்டல் ஹெல்த் ஆஃப் சைல்டு வெளியில இருக்கிற காயங்கள் ஆறிடலாம் சீக்கிரமாவே குணம் ஆயிடலாம் ஆனா வந்து மனசுக்குள்ள ஏற்படுற இந்த ஒரு காயம் வந்து ஆடுறதுக்கோ இல்ல மறை அந்த சைல்டு வந்து ஓவர் கம் பண்றதுக்கோ ரொம்ப நாள் பிடிக்கும் ஓகே சோ அகெய்ன் இண்டிகேட்டர்ஸ் லைக் ஐ டோல்ட் யூ ஒரு சைல்டுக்கு ஒரு செல்ஃப் எஸ்டீம் கம்மியா இருக்கும் வித்ட்ராயல் பிஹேவியர் இருக்கும் ரெக்ரெஷன் அப்படின்னா ஒரு நமக்கு சைல்ட் டெவலப்மெண்ட்ல போயிட்டே இருப்போம் ஒரு சின்ன குழந்தையா இருந்து ஒரு குழந்தையா வருந்து ஒரு அடோலசென்டா ஒரு அடல்டா இந்த ரெக்ரெசிவ் பிஹேவியர்ல வந்து ஒரு குழந்தை ஒரு பிப்டீன் இயர்ஸ் ஓல்ட் சைல்டு ஆர் அ சைல்டு ஹூ இஸ் சிக்ஸ்டீன் இயர்ஸ் ஓல்ட் நோ தே வில் ஹாவ் அ பெட் வெட்டிங் சம் தம் சக்கிங் நோ வாய் சூப்பறது விரல் சூப்பறது இல்ல நைட் ஆனாலே அவங்களையும் அறியாம வந்து தே வில் பாஸ் யூரின் இட் குட் பி லைக் எ பேட்டர்ன் யார பார்த்தாலும் யார கண்டாலும் ஒரு பயமா இருக்கும் தே வில் நாட் பி எக்ஸ்பிரஸிவ் சம்டைம்ஸ் இது தாங்க முடியாம சில குழந்தைகள் வித்ட்ராயில விட தே வில் கெட் இன் டு அக்ரெசிவ் பிஹேவியர் அவங்க அடுத்தவங்களுக்கும் கூர்த்த ஆரம்பிப்பாங்க சோ இட் கேன் கோ எய்தர் வே 
they can either get withdrawn or they can get into aggressive behavior whenever you see any sort of behavioral issue in a child don't look at the behavior most of the times the faculties or the management will always look ye endu kolanda eppadi irka ivan vandu thera maata eppadi but talk to the child and get to know why he is behaving in that manner get to know beyond the behavior and see what exactly the child is undergoing what is the struggle the child is having then you can help the child okay so safeguarding again all the parameters which i have talked you have to educate you have to counsel uh, you have to create a good relationship if there is any problem with the family you can talk to the family members give an emotional support or give a supportive environment weetla edacho or supportive environment kadikilla appadina college la as a friends as a faculty members you can create a supportive environment you can talk to the child you can tell to the child i am there if you need anything any time you can come and discuss with me so you can help the child to have a rapport building you can have the child you know to know that someone is there many times namaku nariya vaati we need someone to tell us or aarudala or vaartha sollalanalo namba solradhu kekka maatangala appdi endu engra avanga nariya per irupanga so you can be that ear or that hand which is supporting so this is how you safeguard an emotional abuse so sexual abuse uh, so palial reethiya nariya nariya vanmuraigal nariya thunbangal or kolandaiki nadandittu irukku it could be neravu nigarandala illa nowadays you have the cell phones wherein the child is being subjected to lot of sexting lot of uh, messages lot of porn that is being uh, sent and the child is forced to see those things so sexual abuse it involves any form of sexual exploitation not only that it includes molestation like um, uh, touching the child in appropriate places now we talk about don't talk about good touch and bad touch it's not good touch or bad touch it's a safe touch and unsafe touch any touch where the child doesn't feel comfortable that child doesn't feel safe the touch is a unsafe touch it's not good or bad touch any touch the child doesn't feel comfortable that's an unsafe touch so you can educate the child about the safe touch unsafe touch um even in your college days if you are not feeling comfortable sometimes a few people will come too proxim to you romba nerukama vandu pesravanga you feel very enakku idu pidikkila anumbodhu try to voice it out konjam thalli pesunga konjam thalli ninnu namba vandu pesalam communicate pannalam so when you have to tell that please do tell that when you are not feeling safe about someone a, a, approaching you too close to your uh, too proximal to you uh, tell them and not only that rape is another sexual abuse incest when you are having a relationship with your family members which is not acceptable that is a sexual abuse okay and also like i told you exposing to lot of explicit materials sexting sending them emoji sometimes sending an emoji is also like subjecting them them to sexual abuse so you need to be very careful when you are sending your emojis okay so indicators of sexual abuse there will be behavioral changes there will be night mares there will be a uh, fear or avoidance of particular place or particular people whenever they think of that incident people will undergo lot of trauma you know nariya perukku oru theriyada oru bayam oru nadukkum adha patti pesaradhukku avangalukku pidikadu sometimes what happens the intensity would be so much the child would really forget that incident no just like as we have selective amnesia in the madri oru sambhavam nadanda madri kuda and kolandaiki theriyadu so that would be there that would be that is the intensity of the trauma the child undergoes and pathinga na ediliyum or concentration irukadu focus irukadu college la vand academic wise nalla padikira kolanda sadana vand there will be a, a huge academic poor performance 
so you need to like know what exactly happened to the child and also emotionally they'll be very distressed and sometimes they will think why i should leave nana vand many times they will take the blame oru vela nana vand avangala indha maadhiri oru idu avanga avanga indha maadhiri nadandukkuradhukku na oru vagaila kaaranama irukkalam self blaming would be there the child will get into self harm will get into substance abuse sometimes it goes as much as the child tends to end its life uh, so you need to be very careful when you are dealing such sort of very sensitive issues okay so how you can save god always start with education and awareness and also age appropriate sex education is a must in all the institutions to teach the child about the safe and unsafe touch and also train the professionals if something happens regards to that one of the faculty members should be there who is trained in poxo or posh and so that the child or anyone can like report it to them or there could be in the madri or vishayam irukku abbi anumbode most of the things may not happen no but in the madri vishayam in the madri or satta irukku in the madri vande namba vande report pannala mandatory reporting can be done andra or vishayam and puridil vandale you can prevent certain crimes to happen and also legal consequences and our sattathile endha vidamana laws irukku ellame kolandaigalukku in or kolandaiyo or samudayathile namba sattangal patti pesa pesa aarambicha and sattathu mela or madipum varum okay so and also you can create your own support groups any sort of abuse you have in your institutions you can form a supportive group where the child can come and take uh, அவங்களுக்கு ஒரு மனசுக்கு ஒரு நிம்மதி கொடுக்க கூடிய ஒரு சப்போர்ட் சிஸ்டம் யூ கேன் கிரியேட் ஓகே நெக்லெக்ட் சோ நம்ம அபியூஸ் அண்ட் பாத்திருக்கோம் நெக்லெக்ட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ பீங் ஹேப்பன் ஒரு பேசிக் கம்யூனிட்டிஸ் ஒரு சைல்டுக்கு கொடுக்கல தனக்கு தேவையான வாட் ஆர் த பேசிக் கம்யூனிட்டிஸ் வி ஆல் நோ லைக் the basic needs abraham maslow's hierarchy pogumbodu or kolandike theviyana or basic needs ana adukundana or saapadu or ududal adavadhu or clothing or medical care or shelter so idu ellame kadaikada or kolandike or pasiyoda irukra kolandai neenga padikka sonna padikkumo illa illa so modalla pasiya aathano adukapramma padippa patti pesu that's the reason government has initiated and the unavu ipo vandu madhiya unavu vida ipo kaalai sitru unavu idiyum implement pannite irukanga because most of the rural areas lot of the children are being neglected they are not getting any basic communities so when you idella sari pannum bodu and the kolandaiki you are creating a safe environment so when we talk about neglect what are again see abuse or neglect the indicators would be the same there will be the child will be malnourished pathinga na kai kal kuchi kuchiya irukum avanga vayiru vandu paana maadhiri perusa irukum there is something known as malnourishment and believe me in india malnourishment is on a huge scale நம்ம எப்படி ஒரு கார்டியாக் டிசீசஸ் பத்தி பேசுறோம் எப்படி வந்து ஒரு பிபி ஹைப்பர் டென்ஷன் பத்தி நம்ம நிறைய பேசிட்டு இருக்கோமோ மெடிக்கல் ஃபீல்டு மால்நரிஷ்மெண்ட் இஸ் ஒன் திங் விச் இஸ் லைக் அன் ஏ ஹியூஜ் ஸ்கேல் இன் இண்டியா நாட் ஓன்லி இன் இண்டியா மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த டெவலப்பிங் கண்ட்ரிஸ் மால்நரிஷ்மெண்ட் இஸ் ஒன் திங் விச் தே ஆர் பேட்லிங் இஃப் யூ லுக் அட் சட்டன் ஆப்பிரிக்கன் கண்ட்ரிஸ் த சினாரியோ இஸ் ஈவன் ஈவன் பெத்தட்டிக் ஸோ when the child doesn't get proper nourishment it will not have a physical health and an emotional health your food is very very important to have both your physical and your emotional well being okay so again if these neglects are being happened the child cannot concentrate on the uh, academics it will not have a proper uh, relationship it will not have social skills no the child which is having neglect will not have social interactions will not have that social esteem will not come out and voice what exactly is happening idella or vishayama sollanu nu kuda and kolandik thonadu so neglect is another major major barrier 
in child safeguarding so how can we safeguard provide them proper nourishment uh, give them proper food give them proper shelter or looking for the ngos which are giving all these aspects uh, giving them uh, community has to play an important you as a, a college students you can become volunteers you can create your rotaract groups you can create you can get in touch with um, certain ngos which help uh, no uh, in overcoming or which are helping people uh, in these aspects avangalukku orundu or proper nourishment or proper food proper shelter idellam provide pandra sila ngos kuda neenga tie up pannikalam you can create lot of awareness through street plays through mimes through dramas through art and music and also you can tell them like there are so many child protective services that are available this is how you can take it to the society okay child labor like i told told you you could see lot of people those who are migrating from other places other where a manila ipa pathinga na nariya north north side nind nariya pasanga vandu inga varanga ஒரு தினசரி வேலைக்கு போறதுக்காக ஃபார் சைல்டு டெய்லி வேஜஸ் டெய்லி லேபர் ஹோட்டல்ல வேலை கிடைச்சா சரி இங்க பாத்தீங்கன்னா இந்த ஒரு இந்த ஒரு பிஞ்சு விரல் வந்து அந்த அஞ்சு பேருக்கு சாப்பாட்டை ஊட்டும் அந்த மாதிரி ஒரு சூழ்நிலையும் இருக்காங்க சோ சைல்ட் லேபர் இஸ் அகெய்ன் அனதர் மேஜர் பேரியர் தட் வி ஆர் ஃபேசிங் சோ சைல்ட் பேரேஜ் இட் டிப்ரைவ்ஸ் தெம் ஆஃப் தேர் சைல்ட்ஹுட் சைல்ட்ஹுட் இஸ் சச் அண்ட் இன்னோசென்ட் ஃபேஸ் it is like a foundation for you as a person your child the foundation evlo namba strong a irukumo and kalu asthivarame vande strong a illa na evlo da ungalala katta mudiyum or building a strong a eppdi katta mudiyum so your childhood is like and asthivaram madri unga childhood nalla vande physically emotionally healthy childhood a irundadana neenga kadandu pogura or kaalam vande romba inimiya irukum childhood e vande romba kashtama or அபியூசிவ் சைல்ட்ஹுட் இது வந்து நீங்க நினைச்சு கூட பார்க்க கூடாத நினைக்கிற தருணங்கள் சம்பவங்கள் இருக்கும் போது அதெல்லாம் கடந்துட்டு எப்படி உங்களால வந்து உங்க லைஃப லீட் பண்ண முடியும் so child labor deprives a child of its childhood it interferes it can't, it doesn't allow nariya kolangalukku padikino nu oru aasa irukum ana the child they are forced to refrain to go to schools no it has a lot of it has a huge impact on the social as well as moral morality when we talk about intelligence it's not about your iq levels there is something known as your adverse intelligence no it's about your how you are facing a, a adversity it also depends on your moral intelligence and moral intelligence is something which helps you how you can behave morality andradhu vandu or manushanukku romba mukkiyamana oru vishayam you don't have morals you don't have values what is uh, the purpose of you being as a human being isn't it so morality is very very important it teaches you integrity it teaches you how you have to uh conduct yourself in a particular environment in a society how you conduct yourself is very very important each one of you if you conduct yourself with discipline the whole society will be very healthy isn't it so child labors long hours of labor they will not be given wages ivlo kudukura ungalku indha velaiye an solli kootiittu varuvaanga ana maadu maadhiri olaike vettittu avangalku proper ah sambalamum kudukamaatanga nariya vaati nariya thunpurthal irukum physical abuse irukum sexual abuse irukum school ku pogama andha kolandaiki aduve vandu or emotionally disturbing ah irukum so these will be the indicators of child uh, labor and how you can safeguard a child labor like i told you create awareness create social groups if the child is in a situation wherein it has to work maybe in the evening times make the child to get enrolled in some school programs uh, empower the child educate the child in whatever way you could or kolandai ki tan tanudaiya signature poda kuda theriyala na imagine how the child could be exploited 
isn't it with a single thumb print the whole fate of a child is being jeopardized so teach a child in whatever way you could empower a child try to do that okay child trafficking this is a horrible horrible thing which we all should be ashamed of yet this exists or kolandey kadathittu adu vandu or sexual trade la vandu thun poorthi anparadu evlo or or idella vandu nadandathu irukku nariya pesapadada or vishayangal but namba pesano idukaga vandu namba nikkano we have to prevent all these things so lot of children are being taken away from their families are forced into sexual trade and this has been happening on a world level not only in india lot of children they are being trafficked they are sent as a bonded laborers they are being sent to other countries for slavery to indulge in sexual activities so what would be the indicators the child would be abducted there will be lot of false documents sometimes what happens or 20 or 15 years back there have been lot of child homes which used to create false documents like the child is being given for adoption and they have the, they are been indulged in such sort of heinous crimes so you need to be aware when a child is being adopted whether the you no know, that's when we got lot of laws parent the adoption was made not that easy when such sort of child trafficking incidences have repetitively happened if a pathinga na adopt or child adopt pandrathukku nariya laws irukku nariya stringent laws irukku as such and and kaalathila or kuzhandhaiya poi or kaapagathila poiittu eduthukittu valathukalam andha maadhiriyala irundhathu ipo nariya you have to go through the legal procedures legal uh, procedures and then only you can adopt a child so thankfully people are working to uh, avoid such child trafficking so safeguarding like i told you legal measures have to be like high intensified there should be a coordination and collaboration between the government agencies as well as the ngos and lot of training programs lot of awareness and also preventive programs have to come up okay so child marriage like i told you ipo idu vandu illa nu solla mudiyadhu irukku but the incidences have been coming down okay so age of an individual is very very important uh, and uh, most of the children who are under 18 become mothers become pregnant early pregnancy again a huge impact on that child not knowing what to do motherhood is such a beautiful journey in a woman's life but something like this which has to be a beautiful thing becoming a nightmare is not acceptable so forced child marriages have to be uh, prevented and um, when there is a huge gap between the spouses there will be a huge discrepancy lot of miscommunication lot of conflicts may arise so that's the reason you should also focus on the age gap between the spouse between the wife and husband safeguarding again educating them about the age of the child about the marital there is a concept now the supreme court is making everyone to know like what is a premarital counseling there is something known as prenuptial agreement which is going to be mandatory and which you all should know so when you are going to get married you should have a premarital counseling and uh, western countries la the prenuptial uh, arrangements iruke enna sometimes if the child i mean if the person gets married and gets divorced there is lot of divorce cases going alimony patti pesaradhukku idellame so instead of taking chances later before marriage legally have all these arrangements and agreements i think the supreme court will make it a mandatory very soon so idellame irukku abdinu neenga therinjikano veetla irukra avangalukkum sollano உங்க பக்கத்துல இருக்கிறவங்களுக்கும் இத பத்தி எல்லாமே வந்து யூ கேன் எஜுகேட் தம் அபவுட் வாட் இஸ் தட் வாட் இஸ் இட் அபவுட் மெரைட்டல் சிஸ்டம் 
it's not that only a person but you should know the authentic information and give them and also know about the ngos which work in these aspects okay and the important thing important thing that is very much happening in all the institutions is bullying and cyber bullying or kolandai vandu eppadi ella thupurtham adavadhu veetla samudayathila nadakkaradha vida institutions la nadakkaradhu romba romba vishayam or kolandai vandu thanmaiya padutittu adha vandu kevalama pesuradho adha vandu physically abuse pandradhu bullying is or corner pandradhu label pandradhu indha maadhiri pannave koodadhu and not only at the physical and not a combo the bullying you know when the social media la pandra the or social media where you have to do what they're on the uh in a pandra i'm gonna corner pandra the this is known as cyber bullying okay so again cyber bullying or bullying a person who undergoes is they will have a lot of physical uh, physical symptoms would be there பிஹேவியரில் வித்ட்ரான் இருக்கும் அடிக்கடி அந்த குழந்தை எனக்கு தலை தலை வலிக்குது வயிறு வலிக்குது எனக்கு ஃபீவராக இருக்கு நான் ஸ்கூலுக்கு போக மாட்டேன் எனக்கு ஸ்கூலுக்கு போகவே பிடிக்கல எனக்கு நான் வீட்லேயே இருந்துக்கிறேன் இந்த மாதிரியான ஒரு விஷயங்கள் சொல்லும் போது யூ ஹாவ் டு ஃபோக்கஸ் அண்ட் ஆஸ் த சைல்டு என்ன நடந்தது ஸ்கூலில் ஸ்கூலுக்கு ஏன் போக மாட்டேன்ற அடிக்கடி வந்து ஸ்கூலுக்கு லீவ் போட்டுட்டே இருக்க என்ன நடந்தது ஸோ ஆல்வேஸ் டேக் சம் டைம் ஆஸ் அ பேரண்ட் ஆஸ் அ டீச்சர் யூ கேன் லைக் டேக் சம் டைம் talk with the child know what exactly is happening okay? and uh, not only this uh, there will be certain emotional changes eating habits here go or according to pathing na to overcome this bullying it indulges in frequent eating sadanna vandu eppa pathalo saaptute irupanga gunda eduvanga sadanna sometimes it happens like to overcome that fear to overcome that anxiety என்ன பண்ணணும்னு தெரியாது ஸோ தே வில் பி வித்ட்ரான் வீட்லேயே உட்காந்துட்டு ரூம்ல அடிச்சுக்கிட்டு எல்லாத்தையும் எடுத்து போய் சிப்ஸ் வச்சுப்பாங்க சாக்லேட்ஸ் வச்சுப்பாங்க எல்லாத்தையும் வச்சுக்கிட்டு சாப்பிட்டுட்டே இருப்பாங்க ஸோ வெல் தெர் இஸ் எனி சேஞ்ச் இன் ஈட்டிங் ஹேபிட்ஸ் ட்ரை டு மானிட்டர் த சைல்ட் அண்ட் ட்ரை டு நோ லைக் வாட் எக்ஸாக்ட்லி ஈஸ் த ப்ராப்ளம் தட் இஸ் ஹேப்பனிங் ஸோ இண்டிகேட்டர்ஸ் லைக் ஐ டோல்ட் யூ uh emotional distress withdrawal decline in academic performance self harm suicidal ideations thaanga mudiyada avanaala idukku mele ennala thaanga mudiyadu so they will indulge in kai arthukuradho edho oru vidamana oru sign aruguri kudupanga we have to be very cautious to know those things okay so exploitation like i told you exploitation otharku virupam illada oru vishayatha seiya solradho thoondradho அவங்க மேல திணைக்கிறதோ இதான் வந்து எக்ஸ்பிளைட்டேஷன் சைல்ட் லேபர் இஸ் சம்திங் விச் தே டோன்ட் வாண்ட் பட் திணைக்கப்படுற ஒரு விஷயம் சைல்ட் டிராஃபிக்கிங் இஸ் அனதர் எக்ஸ்பிளைட்டேஷன் ஸோ வாட் ஆர் ஆல் த இண்டிகேஷன்ஸ் ஐ ஹவ் டோல்ட் யூ லைக் physical signs of abuse inappropriate clothing lack of self esteem malnourishment uh, emotionally withdrawn all these aspects are indications the child is exploited okay so safeguarding from exploitation like i told you all the laws creating awareness educating them uh, telling them like these are the legal measures or how you can collaborate with the ngos how you can create more and more such uh, informative sessions in your colleges having a cell which addresses all these issues um, no encouraging students to take up these programs through art music drama creating awareness in the society all these will help you to safeguard from exploitation neglect abuse thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity if you have any doubts any clarifications you can ask me so i'm stopping to share my screen and i'm hopeful you learned one or two things about how important safeguarding a child is for our society like i told you today's children or tomorrow's citizens yes any doubts any questions and feedbacks i would like to listen how my session was how the talk was also is welcome thank you ma'am thank you so much for your session participants do you have have any questions 
participants, if you, if you have any doubt, you can raise your question now. No questions means you either didn't listen or you understood everything. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, this is a wonderful session, and I have a doubt. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, Ninga sounding a layer, but Koraning on the two withdrawing themselves and they start uh, eating more. Ilana, a lot of eating habit love on the tea, other the change reclub in solis on a layer. So, in the end, the age group learn the dama the absorb an alarm. Maybe Rombo Chinna Koraning learn the. தெரிஞ்சு <laughs> பட் சடனா பாத்தீங்கன்னா ரூம்ல உட்காந்துட்டு எப்ப பார்த்தாலும் சாப்பிட்டுட்டே இருக்கா மாதிரி அந்த மாதிரி சி சின்ன வயசுல இருந்து சாப்பிடுற குழந்தை அது டிஃப்ரெண்ட் பட் ஆல் ஆஃப் சடன் அண்ட் ஒன் மோர் திங் இஸ் ஜூரிங் அடோலசன்ட் அந்த டைம்ல வந்து யூஸ்வலி ஆல் தடோலசன்ட்ல வந்து தே வில் பி மோர் ஹேவிங் கன்சர்ன்ஸ் அபவுட் தேர் பாடி இமேஜ் இஷ்யூ no they are forced to have a particular type of body uh, in the madri ella irukono and the madri or time la vand if they started to eat a lot not focusing on how they look how they are like uh, uh, physical appearance idu pathi edu pathiyu kavala illama saapittute irukanga na there should be something that is bothering them and they are taking it as a sort of or uh, uh, safeguarding method avanga idu panniter or defensive mechanism ah idu eduthittu poranga so you have to be very careful thank you ma'am வெரிக்கு <laughs> quickly in offline mode ma'am because uh, we are all a student we have a uh, student teachers no ma'am in b ed colleges uh, they want to meet you all and they want to clarify more ma'am sure Thank sure you. Thank so, you so much. <laughs> we are awaiting for your uh, presence with offline mode uh, very soon ma'am sure sure uh, the pleasure is mine and always uh, 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 ksr institute has been uh, a special thing for me and uh, uh suresh prabhu sir i didn't meet balu sir in person but still uh, they have been very uh, cordial and every time and uh, it's my duty like i reciprocate the same affection they show on me as well so thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity and i'm also eagerly waiting uh, to come and meet all the students in person thank you so much thank you ma'am thank you thank you we are we're all waiting ma'am thank you ma'am gratitude is not only the greatness of virtues but the prayer and of all the others now i invite to give gratitude all must be shankar assistant professor kaiser college of education trichangur please sir good morning to all first it is my privilege to say vote of thanks here first of all i would like to get the blessing of our devathuru lion dr k s rangasamy njf founder of KSR Education Institution. I wish to extend my sincere thank to our chairman, Mr. R. Srinivasan sir, who is always supporting and encouraging our concurrent. My sincere thanks goes to our respected principal, Dr. P. Suresh Prabhu sir, KSR College of Education, who organized this webinar. I also thanks to our chief guest, Dr. Veena, counseling psychologist, who clearly explained about the webinar on empowering future. I wish to express my gratitude to the 
outside staffs and students who came from various institutions. Last but not least, thanks to our organizing committees and staff members of KSR College of Education. Once again, I thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your thanking. Thank you all. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, participants. You are requested to leave by yourself from the meeting. Thank you all. Ma'am, once again, I repeat you that. Please, uh, we all are waiting for you to meet sure. very soon. Sure. Sure, ma'am. And uh, wish you all a very happy.